Howdy everybody, so today we're going to learn how to install MeTube. Uh, so first we're going to want to go into datasets and create a dataset for dockage. doesn't really matter where the dataset's at, where I have mine is in my SSD uh, pool and in this dockage under apps. So what you can do is you can create a dataset. Uh, call it apps and then do a advanced option go all the way down ACL type to post IX and then save that there we'll just do it and then I'll delete it afterwards uh, and we're gonna add another data set call it do uh, dockage And you can go with more uh, granularity than that, but I just have my apps. If it will run with one folder, I just run it with one folder. So then we're going to go into the actual Discover App section. Just look up Dockage. Got to put a K in there. Since I already have it installed, we're going to install another instance. I have to call my dockage too. Nothing you really have to change. I might have to change this web port uh, because mine might already be used by the other dockage. So we'll see. Uh, change both of these to host path. Go to your actual apps that you created, the app storage that you created. Let's see. And then we just can hit install. We'll see if this goes. Yeah, port already in use. So what we can do, you won't have to do this. Change that by a one. <coughs> okay, so now we gotta let this deploy. Alright, it's already deployed. Cool, cool. Now we gotta go back and create another data set for uh, the actual YouTube videos to be downloaded to. So I created mine in my actual hard drive, so my main. Uh, this one you can just create simply with like this YouTube. And it should go. Give it apps. Yeah, we'll say give it apps. You probably don't need to give it the apps uh, preset, but we'll do it anyway. So, this is my actual one that I use. Yeah, actually, I gave it apps permission anyway, so good for me. Anyway, well. Uh, I gave owner apps, so let's give owner apps real fast. All right. Apps of the owner. So give both of these apps. Now, actually, we want to make this blind and this share. I'll show in a video, uh, other than this, how to actually set up a true NAS, and we'll show how to do an SMB share. But uh, so for for now we're gonna do that, and if it doesn't allow us to transfer the files, it should. But if it doesn't allow us to download the files to that, then we'll go with a different one. Okay. So now we're gonna open up Dockage. Type in a super secret username and password. Okay, and it has all these other ones open because SureNAS is now running off of Docker Compose apps, so 
what you're gonna want to do go into compose and then I'll have this linked in the video description you're gonna want to go down you're gonna want to go down here click copy on this paste it in there I'm gonna take this and move this over to here so I have the data set in my other window so I know what it's called so it was so what you're gonna want to do with TrueNAS it's always gonna be slash MMNT first so MNT uh, slash main slash YouTube DL yep and you don't even need to put a name in here it'll get you a new name okay so what I should have done is should have changed this port since I'm actually since I was running it on a different one but it'll it'll work anyway so what we're gonna do is go to the web UI is 8081 and then we're gonna go to a YouTube video that we want so I'm gonna find a YouTube video real fast so on second thought we will not be showing Pedro Pedro uh, we won't be showing that meme off on this video <laughs> so here's one of my videos that I downloaded or that I uh, made a long time ago about seven years ago so we're gonna download it real fast and uh, what I did basically was I put uh, YouTube DL into a share uh, I shared it just by doing that clicking this this going down here to YouTube DL clicking that it says this is already exist we'll do two but you would click save I'm not doing that because I'm not messing up my share uh, here's the, not, that's my saves. <laughs> A, YouTube DL, and here's our video. Hella bad bit rate, cause I did not know how to edit it. So, hopefully everybody will see it. Full video though. Anyway. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you guys have any other suggestions for videos like uh, any of these apps to show any of these to be set up, I can definitely uh, look into it or just the TrueNAS itself showing the install and setting up of a couple SMB shares and you know users and whatnot, maybe two-factor authentication. Uh, but anyway, uh, thank you. Have a good day.